Hey guys, Justin Morgan here. Last night I was sitting outside my biochemistry lab and I was talking to all my buddies there and people were waiting on the class to start and I happened to be wearing this shirt. Uh, many of you have probably seen this. Uh, Harley Johnston, Doreen Ryder uh, wears this shirt a lot and a lot of other people in the vegan community that are vegans wear that shirt. And uh, I was saying, man, I'm hungry. I can't wait to get home so I can eat dinner. And some of the other students were like, well, what, what are you going to eat? What do, you know, what, what do vegans eat? <laughs> and I was like, well, you know, there's all kinds of different vegan diets and people eat all kinds of different things. And uh, one girl, at, you know, brought up soy, like, lots of soy. I was like, I actually don't really eat a great dose of soy. Or soy. Um, it's probably a monthly occurrence that I have uh, some type of soy product. I, I really try to stick to uh, fruits, vegetables, and um, minimal amounts of nuts, seeds, and avocados. Uh, but, <clears throat> so I was saying, now actually I'm, I'm going to have a, a salad. I had a, a salad with a head of romaine lettuce, and I had a, an avocado and some tomatoes mixed in with that. And then I had some banana ice cream with some coconut meat and um, some carrot powder. And... I put in a little bit of almond milk to uh, get it started. And that was my dinner. And they're like, wow, do you eat healthy like that all the time? <coughs> Excuse me, I got something caught my throat. And I was like, well, uh, you know, I, it depends on your definition of healthy. Uh, so I said, I think my diet's really healthy. And I said that, uh, you know, I told them what I had had to eat that day. Uh, my breakfast had been a lot of bananas and mangoes uh, blended up together. Um, and then my lunch had been, um, I think, another, a different type. It was like bananas and berries uh, blended up together. And then I had like six oranges before I went to class, um, my evening class. And they were like, wow, six oranges is like a full dinner for me. And I was like, why? <clears throat> I ate a lot. They know that I compete in powerlifting as well. And so the lady asked, well, where's, you know, you, you don't eat protein. And I said, well, that was about 70 grams of protein, 65, 70 grams. And she was like, oh, wow. It was like this dawning revelation to her. She had never considered that plants have protein. Well, and then um, on another occasion, this wasn't last night, uh, in that same biochemistry lab, the subject of complete proteins had come up. And that is where I want to rest for just a minute today. I know uh, we're a few minutes already into this video, um, but I want to take a look at some of the different amino acid profiles that we use. to Because people think there's no, um, that you're missing amino acids when you eat plants, or that you need to have these weird combinations of um, amino acids to to make sure that they're full. And my biggest thing in this video and any other video covering protein is that all plant foods have all essential amino acids. Possibly not in the ratios that we determine as being complete, or as uh, the, in ratios. It's really the ratio that separates them. So let's look at the amino acid um, profile of an egg. Now you can see that the cysteine is a little high, the phenylalanine is a little high, and this is more than just the um, just the essential amino acids. There's actually 20 all together, and then there are nine that we deem as being essential, and obviously there's more than nine here. Um, but you know you can see that there is some fluctuations here. They're not straight line down the board, but the egg is what we use as the gold standard for a complete protein. Now let's go over here and we'll compare the same amount of protein or about the same amount of protein. This is eight grams of protein from uh, watermelon and that was eight grams of protein from the egg. And when you look at the amino acid profile of the watermelon you're not seeing this huge um, difference. The phenylalanine's a little lower. Um, the cysteine's uh, not extremely high like it was in the egg, but you know, and the lysine is a little higher when you look at the the watermelon. When you go down to theranine and tryptophan, they're also um, you know a, a little higher. 
but it's fairly consistent and they're all present. So all the essential amino acids are still there. There's none missing. Now let's go over and look at um, the same amount of calories, I mean the same amount of protein that we would get from a banana. So I'm going to put in seven bananas and that's about, um, I think that's nine grams of protein. So um, you see the histidine is really high. And then you go down and the phenylalanine is kind of high like it was in the egg. But, and then some of the other ones like the methionine and the tyrosine is a little lower. But even in the banana, all of those amino acids are still present. They're still there. Now I, I know last time I made a video where I talked about protein, um, uh, a few people uh, commented, I think Don um, Mates, I always, I always mess up people's names and I always laugh about it, comment out like that, but um, Don uh, Mates, who actually has a book out on plant-based eating, uh, he he commented and was you know brought up the um, some of the aspects of uh, methionine restriction has actually shown been shown to be very positive for cancer treatment and um, you know so you know, that's actually not really a bad thing to even see that certain amino acids are um, restricted in the diet um, and I won't really say anything more about it than that you can check out Dr. Greger's videos if you're interested in that, or Don has a book, like I mentioned, you can, he probably has a part in, in the book that covers that topic, so uh, I will try to put that in the description box below if anybody's interested on all those topics, um, but that is it for today, guys, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of uh, uh, background on amino acid profiles and help to maybe expel some of the silliness that uh, your amino acids or, or that the, the there's missing amino acids in plant foods or, or anything like that. Possibly, you could argue that the ratios are not ideal for human digestion, um, but I wouldn't even agree with that. I think that they're more ideal in a lot of ways um, because of the foods themselves being lower in protein. I think that that's an ideal situation that we benefit ourselves, that part of the benefit of a vegan diet is that it's lower in protein or can be, um, you know, depending on your food choices. So, um, you know, I don't really have any more to say about it than that without going into a much longer video. So you guys take it easy and I'll talk to you next time.